Well, um, we're not too good on the road on Tuesdays, I'll tell you that. But, uh, no, Syracuse was very sharp offensively. They, the ability to just score the ball, even when our defense was on them. Um, we defended them pretty well in the first five minutes, but after that, well, they went on like a 27 to five run. And that kind of you know, deflated us completely. Our defense then broke down. And you know we just couldn't make shots against the zone. Went 0 for 11 in the first half. I don't know what we ended up from, from three, but you know, we dug ourselves a big hole. And you know, we even the start the second half, we got missed several threes. So oh, we've got to beat the zone by going inside and outside. We went inside early. Seemed to work. Anthony Walker got us off to a good start, but when you're not making threes against that zone, it's it's very very difficult. And our first question will come from Wyatt Copelman. Coach, the team had 17 turnovers, and off those turnovers, 27 points were scored by Syracuse. Did you feel those were more self-inflicted, or Syracuse's pressing zone defense that you mentioned? Well, the zone is designed to really deflect and steal passes. What you have to do is really move the ball and really attack the gaps. Uh, we did that a little bit in the second half for about a five or seven minute period. But in order to do that, you got to have three point shooting. So when you penetrate, you can kick it to a three point shooter. But it's, it's just a, a very hard matchup for us. Boston College, their zone, Syracuse, their zone. It's just, just hard on, on our personnel. Uh, it was very nice to have Cam Augusti back. I thought Isaiah Wong really got it going in the second half. He was very aggressive in his attacking. But uh, we're going to need to do a better job because I'm sure we're going to see a lot more zone in the uh, second half of the season. We've just completed our 13th game. We're only playing 25 this year, so we're actually halfway to the finish line. The nice thing is we're still getting to play. We haven't had COVID-related stops. Our next question comes from Michelle Kaufman. Uh, I know you've mentioned before about, you know, the fact that without Chris in there, you know, he's one of the better three-point shooters and all that, but still, with all the other guys that were out there, what do you think the problem is with the three-point shooting? I mean, I'm assuming you guys practice that all the time, and some of these guys are decent three-point shooters. Matt Cross, you know, had scored from three earlier. And what do you think is the reason that they shot so poorly from three? Well, zone defense is very different than man-to-man -man defense. Man-to-man -man defense, you're, you're being guarded by one guy and you can attack him and draw the help and kick it to another guy. And if he's a, a good three-point shooter, he should be ready to catch and shoot. Against the zone, you really have to be very patient. You can't just come down. See, we, got it. we were ahead nine to two. And we, we made a substitution. And we tried to throw the ball into the middle on the first pass. And they stole it and scored. And the next time down, we tried to dribble, and they stole that and scored. And then all of a sudden, guys become very hesitant. And, you know, they're good at what they do. That zone is very stifling. Even if you have a very good offensive team and three-point shooting team, well, they're still good at defending the three. So, um, that's Michelle, it's, it's basically – Right now, we don't have the answer against the zone. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And our next question comes from Patrick Gunn. Hey, Coach. So Jim Beheim typically doesn't play Kadari, plays Kadari Richmond Spares and doesn't really play Jesse Edwards, the backup center, much at all. What did you expect from them coming into the game, and what did you see from them today? Well, what happened is, and if you look at the statistics at halftime, Gerard had 15. He was killing us. And so what they did, they brought Kadari in to play the point and let uh, Joe Girard play the two guard spot. And he, and he, and he took, took out Griffin. And so you have 
Uh, Beheim, who's a heck of a shooter. You got Joe Girard, a heck of a shooter. And Kadari just getting the ball to those guys, driving and dishing. And um, Gary Air setting screens. Uh, Edward setting screens for those shooters. And Joe Girard was on fire. He had 15. He only ha He's only averaging 10. I didn't see what he ended up with, but I'm guessing it was over 20. If you looked yeah, at twenty three game, if you looked at last week's game, Joe Girard played like Rich Kelly. Just couldn't guard him. And we have time for a couple more. Next question coming from Steve Wines. So Jim, they they had a big night offensively, but how disappointed are you with your defense? You mentioned uh, it breaking down, and I know you've been happy with it for the most part this season. Oh. So, <laughs> I've said this over and over. Our team is playing pretty well against man-to-man -man on offense and pretty good on teams that shoot twos. We're not great at, against teams that zone and we're not great against uh, teams that shoot threes. You can go back early in the season to Florida Gulf Coast. You can look at our Boston College game. We, we've been, if you, if you look at, at our best wins, Purdue, NC State, and Louisville played man-to-man -man 40 minutes. That gives us a chance. But against the zone, you got to have guys who can make shots, and we just don't. And our final question comes from Michelle Kaufman. Uh, Jim, can you talk about the assist numbers? I know that you guys like to get, you know, you talk about mid-teen assists or whatever, but – Isaiah, after a big game against NC State with a lot of assists, had zero tonight, and the team finished with nine. Yeah, you what? can't get an assist if the guy doesn't make the shot. Mm -hmm. you know, if you throw it to a guy and he's open and he misses the shot, you don't get an assist for that, even if it's a good pass. Mm -hmm. The other day, Isaiah's, Isaiah hit Matt Cross for wide open threes, and Matt made the shot. You get an assist for that. Mm -hmm. So today, no one was making threes. 